Hello, viewers, and welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflection. My name is Tunde Dada, pastor of Kingdom Builders Family in Luton. Today we are reflecting on the Word of God, taken from the devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboe. And our topic for today is dreams and visions. Dreams and visions. Our text is taken from Abaco, chapter 2, I read from verse 1 through to verse 3. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the hand he shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Our memory verbs is taken from Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. A reflection for today from the Open Heavens Daily Guide. It appears that there are two things that can define where a man can reach in life. The first is the nature of the dream that the person is having. The other is the nature of vision that you have shaped sometimes by your dream. If we look at the life of the most prominent dreamer in the Bible, Joseph, we can see that quite early in his life, he used to dream. The dreams were such that he saw himself becoming very great and his brothers, including his parents, bowed down to him. At that time, from records, it appears that there was no prominent king in the area. There was no form of dominion that could warrant anyone occupying the position of authority that would necessitate bowing down to such a fellow. Obviously, they did not know so much about the Egyptian dynasty at the time. Yet in the obscurity of where he was tendering to sheep, God gave his dreams. I pray for you today that regardless of where you may be and regardless of your state in life, regardless of your nature or your color, the Lord will give you dreams that will change your life and the grace to change your world in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Your dreams can then graduate to your vision. The Bible says that where there is no vision, the people perish. A life without vision is a life without direction. To identify your vision and find a direction to the place that God is taking you in life, you need to depend on God to open your eyes to see the vision. When God releases the vision to you, then you can see directly and you can be wired to also do things differently and have change expectations in life. Pastor Adeboye, the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, related to us in the Open Heavens Daily Guide of today, how he called on God to build a house for him, to enable him provide a decent accommodation for his family in Lagos. The Lord told him specifically that he was not going to give him a house, but a city. True to that vision, all you need to do today is to go to the redemption camp in Nigeria, which has become a model city with constant water and electricity and other amenities that can, e that, that can ease our lives, even according to the status of a functional city. That is what God can do. But you must have a dream. Your dream must graduate to become a vision. Our action point for today why don't you just pray this prayer with me? Father, give me visions of uncommon glory and dreams of greatness. Father, give me visions of uncommon glory and dreams of greatness. And may the Lord do that for you in Jesus' name. Until I come your way again, shalom, peace, and glory. Bye for now.